Wait, that's just rumors, though. And we have more rumors to discuss on the show, and we'll get to that. But before we do, we need to talk about some, like, mainstream press. The Russia thing? The Russia thing. The Russia thing. Ah, the Russia thing. The we Russia need, thing. We need Slav back. I know. He's on his way back. He needs to break this one down for us. I can't wait till he's back, man. Me too. We miss you, bud. The Russia thing. And not an election thing. No, we're not talking about that. Right. No. Now, we're talking about an uh, official of Russia who's talking about comic books and just totally just demeaned a whole community of people. Vladimir Murinsky. That was not bad. Pretty close. Pretty close, yeah. Um, so Vladimir Medinsky is a Russian culture minister, and he, for the most part, said, if you're above the age of eight years old and you're reading a comic book, you are a moron. Like that's like pretty much verbatim, you know, in the translated way that he said it. Comics are like chewing gum, as you say. This is not food. Comics should be for a child who is only learning to read, up to seven or eight years old. But an adult to read comics is to admit that I'm a moron, I read comics. See, it's not just in America where individuals are being ridiculed for enjoying this medium, which by the way is made up largely by adults. Like there's very little kids' comics happening. And it's kind of an expensive hobby to even be a part of. These comments blew up over there. There's a lot of people that enjoy comic books in Russia, and people got pissed real quick. And I find this pretty interesting because, one, this it shows that it's not just in America that individuals are ridiculed for enjoying this medium. This happens on foreign in foreign countries as well. And what's super interesting is that Russia also provides money to different sectors to fund comic book sales as well. So he's kind of hurting his own his own economy a little bit here. Like you said earlier, he just might not know all of the details about this. And and yeah, it's definitely a global phenomenon to kind of talk down and, you know, crap on people who are into this hobby of ours. Last year, we actually had some mainstream press around Bill Maher, who was ridiculing the comic book industry pretty aggressively. And I think he regretted it by the end of it. But what did he say? Can we stop pretending that the writing in comic books is so good? Oh, please. Every superhero movie is the same thing. A person who doesn't have powers gets them, has to figure out how they work, and then has to find a glory thing. Justice League. Glory thing. Iron Man, glowy thing. Spider-Man, glory thing. Captain America, glowy thing. It's like it. that whole comment is so naive and just dumbfounded and simplifies the storyline of these books. You can say that about like any movie. Yeah, any movie you can break down to its simplest format. You know, oh. you got an action movie for crying out loud. Uh, someone stole my, killed my dog and now I will go get revenge. Someone or, kidnapped my daughter. I'm going to go get revenge. Yeah, yeah. romance. You it's know? like complaining that there's protagonists and antagonists. It's like, I don't know, read a book. This movie has plot development, yeah. damn it. Oh, she broke my heart. I'm going to now struggle with that relationship <laughs> and carry that on through the rest of my life until I find someone special to replace her. I mean, like, well, what do you want to say? Now, look, comic reading, I'm not saying is the highest level of reading, but we only read it because it's just fun storytelling that we can escape with characters that are just not in your day-to-day -day, you know, life and it's just more fantasy-based. It's just fun stuff to read. I wanted to bring up a conversation that happened. I don't know if you remember this, but this was in San Diego Comic-Con. This is a true story. We were in a lift headed to the convention center and the driver started making fun of adults who were cosplaying. She kind of like made a couple jokes like, oh, look at all these cosplayers. It's making my, my job entertaining. And then she rounded it back and said, what do you guys think about adults who dress up? And she definitely said it with a tone. Is this as she was on the way to drop you off at Comic-Con? Yes. Didn't even think about maybe I shouldn't talk like this about clearly people who are going to this same event? You would think so. Okay. And then Jeff, you Carry had on. a really, really well thought out thing that impressed me. And I thought, oh, I got to bring that up on the show. And I'm, bringing, I'm thinking about it just now. Do you remember this conversation? Yeah, I do. And so um, cosplay, I, I can appreciate cosplay. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. It's not easy. Like, you're in a suit all day. Some people can't even handle wearing just a T-shirt and jeans. You know, you're in a hot suit. So you can see the dedication to pe that people have for comic books. And I can respect that and appreciate that. And I know a lot of people look at it like, oh, it's just people trying to get attention or photo. Whatever. It's people enjoying the hobby. The community. And the community. So I related it to sports events where people are wearing by the thousands and thousands and thousands, jerseys of 
their players. They're supporting their home team or they're supporting whatever team it is. Okay, they're not really Joe Montana. Okay, they're not really, you know, Dak Prescott or Ezekiel. They're not these people. I was going to say those guys too. That was the next sports man I was going to (laughs) say. Athlete is the word. (laughs) But yet they're there and we don't make fun of them. We see them as somebody who supports the team. So it's the same thing. People are going out wearing a costumes. It's not like they can wear jerseys. Right. Okay. For <laughs> Wolverine jersey. I mean, it's just not appropriate. So this is what they do. And it's great. I support both. And that's what you said to her. You're like, ah, you don't see it any different than someone spending $100 on a jersey and wearing it proudly. And you definitely changed her mind. She was like, oh, I never really thought of it like that. And I, that's why I wanted to bring up these stories. Because, you know, we as collectors and stuff, yeah, we hear this kind of stuff all the time. I don't, you know, oh, you like comic books? Yeah, you know, screw off. I, I don't care about your opinion. However, whenever this kind of stuff happens, we need to be boisterous. We need to make sure that we shun that type of conversation, maybe enlighten some people, right? Shunning them, right? Yes. But enlighten them about the community and the culture because we can change minds. We can move mountains. Ooh, yes, we can. 